Hey YouTube, I have a pretty good informational video to show you guys today. Um, I talked with Dion about this, and I've talked with other people about this who have asked me. I have up in my channel um, some that I'm pretty good with sending stuff in the mail. I'm sure you guys have all known who have traded with me or purchased from me. Um, my stuff, for the majority of the time, I'd say about 99% of the time, will come extremely early, and it'll never get lost. I have never lost the package ever. And I can 100% say that. Um, I always package my stuff perfectly. Um, and I have a few tips out there for those people who uh, are wanting to increase their chance of not getting lost mail. Now, I know Jan did something about his shipping methods, so I thought I'd add a few things um, about some of the stuff that I do. Um, I figured today would be a perfect day because I got something in the mail, and that was this, which kind of upset me from... Sorry, this is your last name, so no one's going to know it's you, but it's from Gutierrez, and now I have to pay 61 cents to pick up whatever you sent me. And yeah, that's my address, I really don't care. You're not going to find me. It doesn't give the whole address, so tough luck. But yeah, I got this in the mail. Kind of disappointing, kind of upset that I have to go pay for something, especially if um, they bought something from me, because then I mean... They're, I'm pretty much giving them an amazing deal, so I'm going to have to talk with that person about that. We're going to have to work something out. But first things first about shipping. The way I ship is one of three ways. Now, 99% of the time, I will ship through these two ways. Bubble mailers. These kinds of bubble mailers, they work perfectly. They're nice and bright, <clears throat> easy to write on, a lot of space. They're protective. Your stuff will almost never get damaged because it's so perfectly packed. And post office will rarely use the lose these. Not use them, lose them. Mainly because they're bright. If you use something white, like these, it's hard to see them. They could fall on the ground, get lost. It's easy to lose white stuff. People might say, no, 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 white's so bright, you know, blah, blah, blah. But no. The majority of the time, packages that get lost in the mail are envelopes. Especially really crappy envelopes, especially the envelopes that are half like this. Those envelopes that are half, really horrible. I would never lose them. Those things get lost more than anything else. And uh, you can, you can um, look that up. You can look up the stats if you'd like. Envelopes are the number one thing that get lost in the mail. And there's a few reasons why. Number one, stamps. People who use stamps, your packages are more than likely, or they're more. They have a better chance of getting lost. Now, the reason why is because a lot of people don't know how much to put on. And usually, sometimes, postal workers will get frustrated. They'll throw out your stuff or try to resend it, and I'll get lost in, you know, the mix-up and the transfers that they have to do because they're not allowed to send it. And sometimes, stuff like that gets through and where the recipient will have to pay for it. But if you don't want your package to get lost, never use a stamp. And I don't, I don't know why people use stamps anyways, because you're wasting money, to be honest, because you're paying overpriced for, instead of paying exact change like I do. Um, you can go to the post office. Now, I know this won't work for everyone, but what I do is I go to the post office, I go up to the counter and ask for the cheapest method. Now, the cheapest method is first class, which is one to three day shipping for stuff that weighs under a certain amount of weight, which for Pokemon cards is everything. So unless you're shipping a box, no matter what, you'll be able to ship first class. So, and it's extremely cheap. It's exact payment. You don't have to pay over. Um, I've told a lot of people this. They'll put, you know, two stamps, which is 88 cents. But in reality, the packages only cost 70 cents. Now, granted, that's only like 18 cents different. But add that up over however many times you've been shipping. And it'll save you a few bucks, you know. Maybe enough to buy a card or a few packs. Especially for the kids out there who don't have enough money to... Um, buy stuff. This is a cheap, easy way to save on stuff and to ensure your crap is sent properly. Now, if you send it first class and you take your package to the post office, you're almost guaranteed to never lose your package. You don't even have to do delivery confirmation. Now, granted, if you're sending, you know, a really cool card, then I would still do delivery confirmation, mainly because you still want to double check. But I've never lost anything in the mail using first class mainly because it's already on site. People who put their packages in the outgoing mailbox or those blue boxes, they don't pick those up every day due to the economy. They want to save on gas, save on, you know, workers and money that they have to pay the workers to do the work. 
So they pick them up around twice a week. And the transit and all the other stuff makes it more likely to get ripped off or to get lost, ripped, stolen, broken, you name it. Um, mailmen want to get their money too and if they see the money inside the package and it's in a blue box, they will take it. I guarantee you it. Which is why I put them in bubble mailers. They can't see through, they can't tell what's in it. There's no way unless they break it open that they're going to find out what's in it. So they're not going to waste their time looking through every package because that'll be stupid. Um, they usually go for these. Another way that I make sure, especially if you do use envelopes and or can't afford these even though they're extremely cheap at Walmart, uh, an easy way to ensure your package or your envelope is sent properly and your stuff isn't damaged, number one, package the stuff correctly if you want to learn how to package it correctly. Um, look at Jan's video. He does a really good way to package it really nice for uh, extra protection. Um, another thing is you want to tape all the creases, even these ones. You want to tape everything. Even if you lick this, you want every side, except for the top and bottom, you want all the sides taped up. Now the reason you do that is because when you, you know, have stuff in here and you try to toss it out if you have a bunch of cards, it'll actually, if it can, because of the edges, they can rip out the side in transit, which means your card's lost. I've seen a lot of people that have, uh, have gotten envelopes and the sides will be broken and you know they think their stuff is stolen or the person is tricking them but in reality it's most likely because the cards fell out and the mailmen aren't going to pick it up it's not their job um, they they have those disclaimers on their websites that it's not their job and they're not responsible for it which is why you know it's a good thing to do delivery confirmation but a few simple steps to make sure your package arrives safely don't use stamps use first class Go to, straight to the post office. You'll save a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of money over time using the post office. It's a faster shipping, and you're 100% guaranteed, pretty much 100% guaranteed, that your package will arrive. Um, next, use bubble mailers. Tape up your stuff. Make sure it's packed nicely. Um, and this will ensure people will want to trade with you more. That's a one big turnoff that I have is people who don't know how to pay for the entire postage stamp um, and people who don't pack their crap nicely it will damage the cards and so um, if you want any, any additional information I do have some other stuff that I do do but this is just basic general stuff so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching